Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hut, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion. Uh, your host, I'm welcome back to the Baseball Hut too. I hope you like this video and subscribe. So I'm not saying the Mets should fire uh, at this point Buck Showalter because the owner said um, back in June that he has Buck under a contract. And that and that's Steve Cohen and that he is going to honor that contract for 2024. But people are kind of speculating on the future of Buck. I want to talk about who could replace him in the future, specifically next year. And this is from Rising Apple. The direction and strategy of the New York Mets have changed drastically since the fire sale at the trade deadline. Teams are in a rapid rebuilding process, adjusted, adjusting pieces of its roster for 24 and competing in 25. This new approach to the team puts the so a spotlight on whether the coaching staff could be in the Mets clubhouse next season, especially Buck Showalter after this debacle. If Buck is relieved of his duties as team manager, these five candidates would be the ideal ones to fill his position. Number one, Eric Chavez. Before the trade deadline during the June debacle, many fans called for, his, for the Mets to, to fire Buck as manager. In this scenario, the ideal option to command the team would have been Eric Chavez, the current bench coach for the Mets. The former baseball player is being recognized as MLB for his baseball IQ and leadership skills. The fact that being next to a manager like Buck Showalter has made him gain experience in how to handle certain situations and events on and off the field of play. Chavez would be an ideal option for the team for several reasons. He knows the players in the organization and he can be a good transition manager with the new Mets model. That by 25 would be comprised of young prospects coming up that year. Finally, he's a young manager who would be more open to using advanced baseball analytics to manage something that is a trend in competitive teams. Chavez may be the manager who achieves the synergy between clubhouse harmony and on-field performance, something thought to have been achieved under Showalter but lost this season. Chavez can can that Chavez can be that AJ Hinch, Al or Kevin Cash. We've known how to use the best data of these times and turn it into a benefit for the player and the team. Number two, Carlos Beltran. When Carlos Beltran was selected as manager of the Mets in 2019, excitement was felt among the fans. The former Mets player, who was largely productive in his tenure with the team, intended to inject some of the knowledge he gained playing under Alex Cora and A.J. Hinch with the Astros. Sadly, three months after this decision, Beltran was fired as manager due to the 27 national scandal. An unprecedented event, Beltran was the only player to be named in MLB investigation, something that was arbitrary and led to his departure from baseball and has made his case for entering the Hall of Fame more difficult. Yet this past offseason, the Mets hired him as a special assistant GM and players like Francisco Lindor and Edwin Diaz applauded the signing. Both players who had advocated for Beltran to join the organization recognized his love of intelligence as a hitter, being one of the most advantaged in his time, and for his communication and managerial skills. Beltran looks like a more than an ideal option for the Mets, a former player of high performance and intelligence who was able to learn from one of the best MLB managers, Alex Cora, would be a fundamental piece to take this team, and especially the young talent that has been rising to another level. Number three, Craig Council. Those who drive baseball operations decisions choose the managers that best fit their game model and roster. In this case, if David Stearns comes to the Mets as president of baseball operations, it stands to reason that he could bring Craig Council with him. Council, current manager of the Milwaukee Brewers, will be a free agent at the end of this 2023 season. Council led a basement team like the Brewers to four consecutive postseasons and is struggling to get them there in 2023. Council is a consensus top manager in baseball. He's a young manager, despite his nine years of experience leading the Brewers, who have an advanced analytical background that could be combined with a new level of baseball analytics that the Mets are developing. Council's contract with the Brewers was made by Doug Melvin when he was GM. But a short time later, Stearns took over, making the Stearns Council do one of the longest until Stearns resigned in 2022. With Stearns as president of baseball operations, council as manager, the Mets could achieve the sustainability that Steve Cohen has discussed so much of talented, developing town along with the acquired one and commanding them in the best way on the field of play. Number four, 
Mike Schilt. Mike Schilt held, had led the St. Louis Cardinals to the playoffs in the three straight seasons when he was surprisingly far as the team's manager to make way for Ollie Marble. Schilt finished with a 252 and 199 record, winning manager of the year in 2019. The current San Diego Padres, their base coach, was the first to be left in shock after being fired after a 91 season. John Mazoliak, GM of the Cardinals, argued that the reasons for this dismissal were due to differences in the philosophy and the direction of the team. Schilt was likely executing lineup and bullpen moves that weren't the goal Mosilak had built his roster with. This led to Schilt leaving the team and leaving Ali Marble in charge of the team. The firing took MLB players and managers by surprise. Yadi and Molina argued that whatever the reason in the clubhouse, the communication was fluid. Guaranteed that Schilt had, has the skills to command a contending team. He could bring his Cardinals experience to the Mets in a cultural shift for a clubhouse that still has some work to do. His background gives him the respect the players would have for him, and his record would argue a better performance for the team on the pitch. And finally, number five. Number five, Joe Espada. Current Astros bench coach Joe Espada could again be an option for the Mets. Espada was one of the finalists for the Mets' vacant managerial job in 21 when the team selected Buck Showalter. Espada has been a famous candidate around the league. His relationship with Billy Epler dates back to when they both worked for Brian Cashman in 2014. Espada's availability is uncertain because Dusty Baker's time as manager with Houston could expire in a year or two, leaving space for Espada to operate as the boss. However, as long as the Astros remains competitive with Baker at the helm, Espada would have no room in the organization. He's a candidate with many interesting aspects. His experience in the front office is not as great as his level of learning in the clubhouse of a winning team like the Astros. During his stay in Houston, he has been able to be the bench coach of two great managers, such as A.J. Hinch and Dusty Baker. Additionally, he was an infield instructor for the Astros when he helped and has helped different players leading Carlos Correa and Jeremy Pena to win their respective gold gloves. As Spider can bring his experience and learning with a team as recognized as the Astros to the Mets. He may be the spark plug engine the team needs to compete, complete its cultural change within the clubhouse capable of promoting better relationships between players and better performances on the field. Well, you let me know what you think about this video. Of course, you can have all your different opinions on which guy in this video uh, could be the next future Mets manager. I would think a spotter would be on the outside, my own opinion. Uh, Beltran would have the in, would be one of the inside guys, and Chavez would have to be one of the inside guys, and Craig Council. Keep him in mind. It really does three, in my view. I don't see Schilt there, and I don't see a spotter. Guys in the circle that are in the organization and guys that could be uh, favored by future people in the organization. So let me know what you think about this video. Of course, please subscribe to Baseball Hut 2. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.